Hello, and welcome to the Mini Splice Tray installation video. The Wireworks Mini Splice Tray is a compact fusion splice tray that mounts inside a compatible Wireworks fiber management module, which includes our Next Step 3S and LG Extra patch modules. The Mini Splice Tray features many of the award-winning benefits found in a full-size Next Step splice tray. Every Mini Splice Tray comes with either a one or two strain relief kits and splice sleeves ranging from 0, 6, or 12. In addition, you'll find a complete instructional sheet, as shown here. Once you have removed the mini splice tray from its package, the first step is to remove the transparent cover by simply lifting up the four tabs. Great! This next step focuses on whether your entry cable for the mini splice tray requires a rubber insert for the strain relief kit. You can determine this by referring to the table found on the instructional sheet. Next, determine which side you want your cable to enter your mini splice tray. There are two possible entry points, shown here. Now, to demonstrate how to install your strain relief kit into the mini splice tray, let's start by understanding the proper orientation of the strain relief clamp. On one side of the clamp, you will notice an extruding line, which needs to be installed facing inwards into the mini splice tray. To insert the clamp, simply insert the extruding side into the strain relief holes first. Then, do the same to the opposite side of the clamp. You can apply the same procedure using the other entry point of the mini splice tray, shown here. In a case where you want to remove the clamp, simply use a flathead screwdriver and firmly wedge the clamp out of place. The strain relief kit is compatible with different types of cable diameters, such as a single or double 2 mm cable, a single or double 3 mm cable, a single ribbon cable, and finally, a single distribution cable type. For the next step, measure 18 inches from the end point of your strain relief clamp, leaving a half an inch of unstripped cable at the end point. The table found on the instructional sheet requires only to use electrical tape for this diameter of cable. Therefore, the rubber insert is not required. Place the clamp over the measured electrical tape marking and secure the clamp in place you are now ready to perform your fusion splice. Once your fusion splices are done, route and secure your fibers utilizing the cable management system and magnetic splice sleeve holder. For applications that require an exit cable to be fused, you can utilize the opposite entry point as shown here. To place the transparent cover back in the mini splice tray, properly orient the cover and press down individually on each tab, ensuring not to pinch or crush any fibers in the process. If your splice application requires to have connectors, then it should look similar to this. One last thing, if you require to add another 12 connections, as you see here, simply just stack another mini splice tray on top of the other and watch how the splice tray magnets hold each other in place. That's it, you're done. Thanks for watching. For more information, Visit us on social media or visit our website at www.wireworks.com.